Hello, beautiful people. I hope all is well. I hope all is well. If you folks can let me know if you can hear me, please let me know if you can hear me. I'm making an effort to keep my voice low. I have a natural teacher's voice, which is always loud and outrageous. So please let me know if you can hear me. I put headphones in so that I didn't disrupt my husband who's sleeping to my right and everybody else who is on the beach. So please let me know if you can hear me and if the volume is cool. If I need to talk up, I'll talk up just a little bit. All right, thank you. Welcome everyone who's joining the live. Alex Ann, um, Shorty716, Shamari, thank you for joining. Miss Clark, Let's Create, Audrey, Lauren, welcome, welcome. Nurse SP, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Phenomenal MS. Uh, uh, Bohemian Shay, Bohemian, am I saying that right? Bohemian Shay, guess where I am? In the Bahamas. Where are you from? So I'm here. All right. Um, normally, when I'm on vacation, I have a live that I like plan in advance. Like, okay, I'm going to do a live stream while I'm on vacation. Usually because I'm pretty absent for the rest of the day, absent. I like to post frequently. Obviously, you guys know if anybody has a business, you have to post frequently in order to grow your audience, to grow your following, and potentially grow your business, right? Um, obviously, if I'm on vacation, I'm not in a position to post or I don't prioritize posting as much. So normally, I plan what I'm going to say before I say it. I did not plan. So I might rant just a little bit. Um, I apologize in advance if I am ranting, okay? Okay. So there's been some points, some facts, some stats that's been circulating that really bother me. And I want to say in advance that this is not um, in an effort to advocate for women. If you know me, if you follow me, you know that my priority is logic, then happiness. Logic, then happiness. This is not men against women. This is not women against men. Um, but the stats that I hear and see that are circulated, that are written underneath my posts, annoy the shit out of me. I'm on vacation so I could cuss. Don't hold me accountable, okay? Um, so I, it's just been on my mind ruminating and I want to share with y'all. Oh, thank y'all for saying I look great. I can, I'm, since I'm in the sun, I can hardly see. Uh, I can even see myself. So I hope I look great. I, I think I look like a, um, I don't know, a cow. Anywho, so... That number one that really bothers me, really bothers me to the core. My dad told me that I should have been a lawyer when I was eight and I should have listened to him because I feel like people just go on Instagram, go on social media, hear a stat, attach themselves to this stat, run with this stat without any logic or reason applied. And again, this is not an effort to be biased. This is Allison being passionate about logic and reason. So uh, a gentleman wrote this underneath my comments today and I've seen it before this outrageous stat that says that 82% of divorces, divorce paperwork, is filed by women in the United States. 82% of the divorce proceedings, documentation, I don't know, I don't talk about divorce because guess what, I'm not getting divorced. One and done and happy and fulfilled with it too, right? Supposedly 82% of divorces that are filed are filed by women. That's the stat. Now, Let's assume this stat is accurate, right? I'm, I'm not getting to the Googles, I'm on vacation. Let's assume that this stat is accurate, beautiful people. I need y'all to apply logic and reason. Logic and reason, okay? So this is the example that I gave the gentleman. This is what I said. I said, sir, if you and I are in a, a business partnership together, you and I have a, a juice bar together, right? We went into business together, equal 50-50. And I'm stealing from the business. I don't show up to work. You have to open the shop and close the shop. You have to monitor the inventory, make sure there's enough fruits and vegetables, make sure that the customers are taken care of. And eventually you get sick and tired of doing that work. And then you go to, I don't know, the New York State Registry website, whatever it is, and you say, I would like for Allison's name to be removed from the business documents. I no longer want this LLC to be Allison and I. I only want the LLC to be me because I'm doing all the work. And let's say I sign off and I agree for my name to be removed. Because you filed the documents, because you're the person who went online and filled out the paperwork, because you're the person who decided to take action legally, are you the reason why the business failed? 
Are you the person who did wrong in our business partnership? Absolutely not. I'm the one who stole. I'm the one who didn't show up. I'm the one who left you with all the responsibilities. So simply because someone is the one who's doing the filing, simply because someone is the one who's doing the documentation, simply because someone is the one who calls the lawyer and organizes the paperwork, is not proof in itself that that person is the one who caused the demise of said relationship. Like, how are we going on the internet and just grabbing up stats? 82% of women are the ones who file for a divorce. Ergo, it's women's fault why divorces happen. Now, if you want to have some kind of logic or reason behind unrealistic goals and standards if you want to talk about culturally perhaps this is an argument culturally perhaps uh, women aren't taught to be wives or or, and, and men aren't taught to be husbands those are valuable conversations but this idea that we as a society are so in in just is the word in drenched I don't even know what the real word is in this in this red pill community in this manosphere community that we take what one man says a random stat and we run with it as proof and evidence that clearly women must be the problem now I didn't say that women don't contribute to the problem I would even argue because again this is logic and reason this is not me being sexist or unfair we could even argue let's say women are the problem I don't effing know but that stat alone that fact alone does not prove an argument and so we're running around spewing these supposed facts using them as the basis of argument and it's illogical and if anybody had half a brain they would listen to these stats and they would start to apply logic and reason do you know that women tend to do the paperwork in households (laughs) ask my husband if he applied for our marriage certificate I did so because I'm the one who applied for the marriage certificate does that mean that the reason why our marriage is successful is because I did the paperwork just because you do the paperwork that's no proof at all that 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 you're the cause for anything story when I was going to work for the DOE right um, I think I was like 24 years old and they needed proof of my immunizations, right? The, the yellow card. If you're in New York, it's a yellow card. I saw Andrew. Andrew was born in California and his is a yellow card too. Y'all might know what I'm talking about. So I needed proof of my immunizations. I didn't have it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go to um, my pediatric doctor when I was a kid on Eastern Parkway in Brooklyn. And I'm going to hope and pray that these people still have this document. Again, this is 10 years ago. So this is 2012. This was like summer 2012. So I walked in the pediatric doctor's office and I said, hi, my name is Allison. Do you happen to have your documents from 1986, right? I said, do you happen to have your immunization documents from 1986? They said, actually we do, it's in the basement, right? They went down in the basement, they literally found a copy of my yellow card. When I opened up the yellow card, every entry for every immunization I received, I don't know, when, when do babies start getting immunizations? three months up until like 13 years old, every single one was in my mother's handwriting. Now I'm not saying that my dad is negligent. I'm not saying that my dad wasn't a good dad. Women do the paperwork. That is what women do. Women sign every permission slip. Women register their children for daycare and for for regular school, public school, private school. Women balance the checkbooks many times, whether or not they're contributing financially. Uh, I can't even think of every other document. We're the ones who make the doctor's appointments. We're the ones who make the doctor's appointments for our husbands. We're the ones who go to the pharmacy and we fill out the, 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 the damn subscriptions. We're the ones that make sure that these people have their pills. We're the ones who make sure that... So it's not outrageous to say that 82% of women, again, if that stat is even true, it's not outrageous for women to be the leaders of filing the documents, but filing the documents themselves is not proof of their culpability to the end of that relationship. It could be. I'm not saying that it's not. I'm saying that that stat is not proof enough that it's women's fault. Like I'm... I'm gonna just need, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna need my people to think. I need people to think. Next step.
has been grinding my gears for years. Again, guys, <laughs> my name is Allison. I'm a certified dating and relationship coach. I primarily work with singles to help them find a the love and commitment that they deserve. I also am a proponent of minding my business. I normally do not talk about this supposed manosphere. I actually keep myself out of this supposed manosphere. I don't watch the videos. I don't share the videos. I don't comment on the videos. I don't like the videos because I feel as though if there is a message that you strongly disagree with, then I'm not going to be a, a proponent in sharing said message, right? I think it's hilarious when people come underneath my post and disrespectfully disagree with me. Not disagree, disrespectfully. And after I go back and forth with them for a little bit, I then finally let them know, I said, you do realize that the more that you comment, the more that you're helping spread this message that you think is trash. And then usually they feel stupid and they stop. So I'm, I'm not a part of the manosphere. I'm not a part of the red pill community. I don't read the stuff. I don't share the stuff. I don't. But when it comes, those kinds of comments come directly underneath my post. I read it because it's underneath my post. And then I'm like, are these people even thinking? They're blatantly not thinking. Okay. Tay says, I say, don't listen to anyone. You're uh, not in your situation. Some people are divorcing abusers, liars, and cheaters, or just want peace, logic, and reason. Right. And as I said, this is not in an effort to defend women because the next set I'm going to talk about also is quote unquote in defense of women, but it's not. It's in defense of logic and reason. Logic and reason. And I will say again, I don't know who's at fault, really. I don't know the percentage of men who cheat versus women who cheat, men who abuse versus women who abuse, whose fault that they're separated. I'm not here to figure that out. What I do is I work with singles. I have therapists who are here on this live who work with couples. Talk to Matt is on here. He works with couples. And couples are my thing. I work with singles. I'm not here to argue about who's right, who's wrong, who did this, who did that. I'm here to help singles navigate dating so that they can find the right person for them. All right? I don't usually involve myself, but... It, it's, it's the lawyer in me, the lawyer I was supposed to be, <laughs> the journalist I was supposed to be that. I, these people write these things underneath my posts, and I'm like, you're so damn foolish because you're not thinking. Okay, next stat, always grind my gears. So this stat talked about the percentage of people who are on psychotropic drugs. I hope I'm saying that right, right? Um, those are drugs that people normally take that are associated with a mental health issue, right? Psychotropic, I think is the way that you say it. And so um, the stat goes something like 13.8% of women are on psychotropic drugs and 7 point whatever percent of men in the United States are on psychotropic drugs. So clearly twice the amount of women are unhappy in their lives or twice the amount of women are mentally unstable because um, look at how many more women are on these drugs than men. So clearly, Women are the ones who are unstable. Women are the ones who have the most mental health struggles. <sighs> Logic and reason. Just because you have a percentage of people who are taking those drugs, doesn't mean there aren't people out there who actually need those drugs, who aren't on it. I'm on a public beach, y'all. Look at this dude. Just shouting and carrying on. Just because someone isn't on the drugs, right, doesn't mean that they don't need the drugs. So using the statistic of how many people are on the drug, men versus women, isn't a, a logical next thought to say, well, then obviously women are the ones who struggle with more mental health issues or obviously what? No, what it, to me what that stat says is that women are the ones who, who tend to take action. Women are the ones who tend to take action. And if you ask any married man, I'll give you my dad. My father has a lot of, uh, I don't say mental, <laughs> don't say this to my dad. My dad has a lot of uh, physical ailments. He's 69, right? Every single doctor's appointment that he goes on, his wife, an amazing stepmother, Jackie, she makes for him. She picks up all of his medication. She has the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday box. She puts the pills in each of the designated boxes. She then puts the boxes in front of his breakfast every day to make sure he takes his meds. Just because somebody isn't on the drugs doesn't mean they don't need the drugs. And we all know that women tend to seek help more than men. That's why there's this strong movement, especially in the black community, to get assistance for black men in the mental health space. So 
let's read some comments. Vision says, when it comes to statistics and reference to them, it's all about context and people fail to use that when trying to bring points home. Absolutely. This is why I leave with a lot of, in my opinion, or I believe, right? Because, you know, Jay says, men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Numbers do lie if people purposely misconstrue them to fit their point. Numbers absolutely lie. Forever Chrissy says, women are more likely to go to the doctor and open up about what's bothering them. This is, this is one of the reasons why married men tend to live longer than single men. Because of their nagging wives who force them to go to the doctor and to fulfill their medication and to, to take the pills. Right? And to exercise and to do all those things. And baby, do you really need another bear? And do you have to have another cigar? And maybe we should consider cutting down the cigarettes and let's go for a walk and I made your doctor's appointment and we have to check your prostate you know men had to tell <laughs> hate to take, check their prostate again beautiful people this is this is not I promise y'all if you know me you know me this is not in defense of women versus men absolutely not and if you were just joining that's not how I roll I roll with logic and reason and I roll with solutions okay and based on what I'm seeing and in, in, in what's growing, it seems to me, and I could be absolutely wrong, y'all. I could be absolutely wrong. It seems to me that there are communities that are growing in popularity and power, and somebody has to make an effort to intervene. I don't know if it could be me, because I'm a little nasty. <laughs> but we have to make an effort to bring logic and reason and resolutions back to the conversations in regards to our romantic relationships. We have to make an effort to bring logic and reason and respect back into our conversations. I posted yesterday, I think it was yesterday, last night, about um, how it's impossible for you to be in love with two people, right, at the same time. And I had a lot of poly folks who commented, and I appreciated that, right, because I don't know anything about the poly community. I really don't have a desire to learn, to be honest with you. I know that sounds quite ignorant, but I just don't. It's, um, <laughs> in one of my, in my lead training that I do, the partner you deserve, you could click the link in the bio and tap the first button. I say in my training, this training is for people who are interested in being with one person. Oh, thank you. Right? So if I'm saying that, I, I'm not interested. So I had some poly people who commented, and it was great. They were giving me some insight. I 100% disagree and will never go down that route. But it was a beautiful exchange, a beautiful exchange. Then you're so ignorant because why can't we just have, and this is, by the way, from women too. So this is not only men who are coming in and being nasty. Why can't we just have more conversations so we can get to the resolution of our issues? Why do we have to fight all the time? Why do we have to have online Reddit communities where we're trashing literally half of the population at a time? Why don't we be more reflective so we can learn about what we're doing wrong in our relationships so we could be better moving forward? Why can't we be honest about the fact that we say that we don't want these things, right, like marriage, post from yesterday we say we don't want these things but the reality is is that because we feel like it's unattainable for us now we don't want it money is the devil is money the devil or you're having a hard time attaining it so now you want to associate money as a negative thing so that you don't feel as bad about the fact that you ain't got it marriage is this piece uh, marriage is just a piece of paper is marriage just a piece of paper or do you want to associate it with something negative because it's something you've always wanted and you are having a hard time attaining it, so you want to associate it with something that's negative? I just need for us to do better. And I'm trying to be a part of that community. I try to share my opinions without being nasty, even when people are nasty to me, at least initially. Um, I definitely am super respectful when I comment underneath other people's posts so I can have more insight. I always leave with, in my opinion, or I think, right? I don't leave with stupid stats that people just make up or use indiscriminately without any basis. <sighs> can y'all help me? Can we help spread the word that we need to have more valuable conversations? Can we spread the word that let's not share ideas and values that are staunchly and disrespectfully against your own? You complain about a man, but yet you're sharing his posts, you're reposting on your page, you're arguing, you're carrying on and making a scene on Instagram with people, you're insulting people back and forth. Well, you must be a bum and you must be a this and you must be a golden. Like, 
when are we going to get to a point where we could just have some conversations and then eventually sometimes agree to disagree or sometimes begin to shift our thinking to say, you know what, that's a valid argument. Do you know how many times I've had a valid argument and people have said, you know what, that's a valid argument? Like twice. Instead, they won't respond at all, which is cool. That's their choice because they want to be in denial or they will latch on to something else and not respond to what I said that shut down their whole shit. Nonetheless, y'all, I'm on the beach. I am going to save this live. I want you to share with anyone who you think can benefit from it. Again, usually I have a plan and I'm organized when I go live when I'm on vacation. I think about it in advance, but these are just things that have been ruminating um, on my mind and in my heart. And so I wanted to talk to all of you about it. Um, and that's it. I'm going to save this live. So if anybody's just joining, you can watch it again. My name is Allison. I'm a certified dating and relationship coach. I primarily work with singles to help them find a love and commitment that they deserve. I have free trainings. I have free eBooks. And then I also have full on coaching programs to teach folks how to navigate dating in 2022 so that you can earn and learn discernment to find the partner that you deserve emphasis on who you deserve. Have a nice day. Bye.